Now the next thing is when the user click on capture image with camera then it will open up the phone camera in order to capture image with the phone camera. The second one is the to choose the image from gallery that is to allow the user when the user click on it then the user will be sent to the phone gallery and from the phone gallery the user has to pick an image. So let's just implement both of these step by step. So for that purpose as you know that first of all we have our first option which is capture image with camera. So I'm going to implement a method which will be by the name capture image with phone camera. We call this method here which of course we will implement now. Copy this name and now below the show dialog box we can simply say capture image with phone camera. Similarly let's do it for the second option which is choose image from gallery. So we can say choose image from gallery from phone gallery of course. So we call this method here which we will implement now. So just copy this name and below the show dialog box after the capture image with phone camera we can say choose image from phone gallery and we will implement this also. These two features we have to add uh, we have to add and use the dependency which is the image picker dependency. So for that purpose open up your favorite browser and go to the pub.dev site okay pub.dev site just type this URL and press enter it will redirect you to this page pub.dev and then here we have to search for the image picker this one image picker with null safety just open up click on installing copy this dependency and let's go back to our Android Studio, go to the pubspec.yml pub file and in here below the Firebase core we can simply paste that and then click on pubget in order to install this dependency in our AR furniture app that is in our Flutter project. So exit code 0 it simply means that it has been installed successfully in our project. Now let's just come back here to the item upload screen if you see if you see this as a suggestion then click on get dependencies that's it and now click on ignore so now inside a try catch block first we will implement this one okay which is capture image with phone camera so we can say try catch In case if any exception occur then the error message so inside the try final picked image equals to image picker dot pick image and here we have to specify the source for example the current source will be camera so we can say image source dot camera and what it will do is first of all make sure to make this method asynchronous also make this method asynchronous now what it will do it will basically open up the phone camera so the user has to capture image with the phone camera so till then we have to wait for the response that is the user has to capture it and basically go for it so once it is get that image it will be assigned to this picked image so inside this picked image we will have that capture image with the user capture with his with his or her phone camera after it we have to check that is the image which the user capture with his or her phone camera if it contains the image file so we can say if picked image 
not equals to null if it is not equals to null then first of all we will get the path of that image so we can say picked image dot path and we will assign this to the variable which will be image path so the image path we assign to this image path variable then we have to convert that pick image that is the image which the user capture with his or her phone camera we have to convert that image to bytes that is we have to read that as bytes so we can simply say wet picked image picked image dot read as bytes so you can say that it will be converted to bytes that is it is now will be in bytes form so we have to assign that result to a variable which is our image file uint at list okay so you can say that the picked image or you can say the image which the user capture with phone camera that image that image we convert to bytes and it is now inside this image file uint at list variable now the next thing that we will do is basically to remove the background remove background from image or in simple words you can say that we have to make the image transparent now how we will do that is that is something that we will do in the upcoming videos for now let's just check if either uh, the phone camera opens when the user capture if the when the user wants to capture image with phone camera or not so let me tell you again what we have done we allow the user to capture image with phone camera that file comes inside this pick image variable we check if the picked image picked image is not equals to null that is if it contains the image if the picked image contains the image then first we get the path of it we assign to image path and then we convert that image to bytes which we assign to image file u, u int at list variable and then we set state in simple words we update the user interface here a occur then for the in that case we will just say print error message dot to string like this and in case of error we have to make sure that we set this to null set this back to null and we have to do it inside a set state just like this so this is our capture image with phone camera feature the same thing we will do in our choose image from phone gallery so what we have to do just copy this try catch block okay this try catch block code this whole piece of code from here just copy it and paste it in here inside this method which is choose image from phone gallery now the first thing that we will do here is just to change the source of the image this time we allow the user that is when the user click on the button then we will send the user to the phone gallery and from the phone gallery the user will pick an image so that image will be assigned to this variable then we check if it it contains the image that is if pick image has a file that image file which, which the user choose from his or her phone gallery then in that case we get the path of it we assign to this variable and then we convert that picked image to bytes that is we read that as bytes so that byte image we assign to our this image file you hint at list that is now inside this variable we have that image file in byte swarm so so simple and so easy the rest of the code remains the same as you know in case of any error occur then just display the error message and in case of failure we have to make sure that we set this back to null